guys, hi. Hey. Morning. It's a beautiful lovely, morning. beautiful, sunny morning. Ian's got his summer clothes on. I'm still wrapped up like it's the middle of winter. And on a rare occasion, Einstein's off. He's, there he is. Little baby. So we're just in the local park. <laughs> Our local park. Let's show these two running around like idiots. This is how Einstein. Oh, there he goes. Look. So, yeah, it's a beautiful morning. Um, Ian's in work a bit later today, so we thought we'd take advantage and have a bit of a walk around. Yeah, it's quite a nice little park, really, to walk around. I don't even know if you call it a park. Yeah. They do call it a park. But, yeah, we thought we'd just have a little walk around and get some fresh air and some exercise. So, I don't know what I've got planned for the day once Ian goes to work, but I thought I'd try and be productive, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> and so we're at the top of the hill at the moment, looking over Scammersdale, but then Ian tells me that there's... Well, over there you can see the red cranes, which are Liverpool, and then you got your wind turbines out in the sea. The wind turbine? Oh, yeah, I don't see know where... Sea from here. Oh, you yeah, guys can see that from where you are. Yeah, I've zoomed in as much as I can, so just let us know if you can see. Well, I suppose when I watch it back on the thing, I'll see if we can see much. But lots of buildings. Yeah, it's quite a good little viewpoint, really, to have a look over. I think I might even be able to see the DW's thing. DW? DW where? Wigan? I think that's over that way, isn't it? The Walker's Crisp Factory, you can see the big windmill, windmill and then the smoky, whatever that stuff's called. Um, steam, is it? I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's where the Walker's... Is that where all the Walker's Crisps come no, they from? also have one at Warrington and this other place. Alright. But yeah, it's like a little stand thing over there that tells you, like, what you're looking at. <laughs> It's a very clear day today, so you can see for miles. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh yeah, there's a ferry in the water. A ferry? You can see that oh yeah. Whether you guys can see it on the camera, I don't know, but we can see it like in real life. So yeah, it's probably heading along and it's probably going to... It's that way, it's there somewhere. Probably dock at Liverpool. So yeah. Oh. Uh, so yeah, let's zoom out and we'll carry on our little walk. Einstein's doing really well, aren't you, Phoebe? It's a lovely day today. You're doing really well, aren't you, sweet pig? Yes. So yeah, we're just gonna loop round now and get head back towards the car. Hey guys, gosh. What is, uh, even though I've had a haircut, it still is hair crimes with Aaron. Um, we're just, we, I am just making a sausage casserole. So we're using the hot dog sausages. I've just put them in the uh, pressure king, whatever it's called. But yeah, it's these sausages here, so. Hopefully, I've uh, not seen one-legged pitch for a while so I'm not sure what he's up to at the moment but yeah we're just um just putting the sausages on to cook first and then I'll just put the sausages on to cook first and then I'll put the rest of the ingredients in and then we'll have a sausage casserole tonight with some reduced veg that we found at Asda last night so that should be yummy so we've got some Fragrant onions, 
for 25p that have gone in. So there we go, that's in. And then we've got some casserole veg, which was 72p. So we'll pop that in with the onions and the browned sausages. Yeah, people just don't look at what it looks like. It's looking a bit mushy at the moment, but we'll just try not to look at that because it's turning my stomach a bit at the moment. I'm sure it'll be fine once it's all cooked. Instead, it's not filling me with confidence right now. So there it is all put into the pot. It's quite full when you look at it like that. So hopefully that's going to reduce down a bit. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, I'm not gonna lie though. Where like the potatoes and stuff have gone mushy and that pack is really making me feel a bit ill. <sighs> Let's just get through this. <laughs> So I need, what do I need? Um, 400 mils of coal. We are using a beef casserole, but that's just because we decided we just wanted that instead of the pork or the sausage or the chicken. I'm sure it's going to taste lovely. <laughs> um, oh, just, I don't want to. I don't want to keep looking at it, but it's like, I can't help it. Oh dear, let's just mix this mixture. So this is the thing with reduced food, is that like, sometimes it can be a bit questionable. But you gotta trust the process, I guess, and just hope for the best. Um, I'm gonna pour this. I mean, that's probably a bit too full, really, if we're honest with ourselves, isn't it? It has gone past the max line, but I just don't tell it in. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine once we take the lid off, and it looks gorgeous. Oh god. I just want to close the lid and not have to look at it again. <sighs> I'm just hoping I can close the lid, do an abracadabra and then when I open it up again, it will look pretty. So, this is what it looks like before I put the lid on. And then we'll see what it looks like when I set the lid off. Hey guys! Hey! We're back from the gym. Um, I did make the, uh, what was it called, the casserole. Yeah. And it turned out you fine. You actually sat on the casserole at the moment. But um, yeah, I was, in a, bit of a, I was yeah. in a bit of a mood after I'd made the casserole, so I didn't want to film it and show it. But it, it turned, turned out, out alright. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's why there is no clip of the casserole. And, oh, oh, yeah, yeah this it turned out fine, but Aaron was in a bit of a funk. Mm. And we just got back from the gym slash Asda. We did pick up this 
chicken fajita pizza that was produced from three pounds to one eighty. It seems that nearly every time that we go to as to after we've been to the gym that they have this kind of pizza or some no. kind of pizza reduced. We end up having a pizza at one in the morning. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Just cooking. We out. saw it yesterday and we thought, oh, I wouldn't mind trying that one if it was in the reduced, but it wasn't yesterday and now it is. And today it is. It's always like, as do this thing to us. We've got some lightly salted tortilla chips because what do you think we're doing with those? Got some cheese twists. We got those because we picked up a, a interesting looking dip that we bought it to go with. And here it is, whipped parmesan dip with topped with, topped with pesto. The full price should have been two seventy. We got it for a slightly better price of one sixty two. So that should be nice. Yeah, we do like a little dip dip. Got some Edwards pork and leek sausages. So some Welsh sausages though. So they were reduced. In fact, speaking of sausages, three twenty-five to one forty-three, mm-hmm. so a good reduction. Those hot dog sausages worked out quite well in the casserole because they were quite soft. Yeah. So it's quite nice the way they turned out in the casserole. Yeah, it's good because they haven't got like the tough skin that sometimes some sausages have, and they quite a light texture. We ran out of cheese, so we bought some mature cheddar. Put, put some rice. Yeah, because it's just handy to have in. And if we make a curry or a chilli, it's there, ready to go. A discounted cabbage was 93p and now it's 56p. So we'll That's probably good. be braising that because that is our the only way we really like to have our cabbage. And we're having a chilli at some point. So that's what the tortilla chips were put. You got a spicy one this time. So. Just because we didn't have the mild one. Normally I get the mild one and spice it up. And then, then finally we picked up some mash that was 90p and is now 40p. So that's not too bad. Yeah, decent. So. Nothing, unu- nothing too unusual, but I suppose should we try this parmesan dip? Yeah, let's try and see what it's like. See, see if, if it's we, as yummy as we recommend it. Is it still in cheese twist left? I'll just, I'll, I'll just check. Because I'm just still. I was going to say, I can't remember if there was a couple left. One left. Oh, right, okay. So, our feature, just to try. Just move this cabbage out the way. Could you mix it up a bit first, or what? Mm, I, I think I'll just run it through it. For you to, I don't know. I don't know, maybe they've just put it on top just to make it look better. There it is, so obviously, I don't mean, know if you can see that up there. Or yeah, it's just, looks like a big blob of mayonnaise. Nice. Uh, you're going to... You're going to give me a bit of a stick? There you go. Ooh, that seems quite like, deep. That seems like it goes in. There we go. Looks like it's quite a, a thick... Mm. I'm not tasting the parmesan as much as I was expecting to. No. I feel like the pesto definitely takes over. There is like a cheesy toast, but mm, but what does parmesan taste like normally? That's not the really strong cheese flavour. So we'll try with one that isn't stale. It doesn't look too bad. I'm going to try mixing this up with a spoon as well. You can do if you want. So yeah, obviously it looks really pretty with it just on top. I suppose I'll just get some off this spoon. Let's try it again. Mm. I don't. I enjoy. I enjoyed that 
sour, the cheese and... Was it cheese and chive one that we got that time? The one that Glenda liked. Yeah, that one was a lot better. Yeah. Maybe I've just not got a sophisticated palate enough, it just... Yes, maybe it isn't. It is just a little bit. So it's a double cream and Greek style yogurt based it with Parmesan cheese. Soft cheese topped with a bit of pesto. Oh, maybe that's why it's, it's, cheese. it's garlic, um, garlic right. yogurt. It's Greek yogurt. Yeah, it does have quite a... Yeah, it's just not the texture I'm used to. The pesto tastes nice. Yeah. But it's not my... It's not wow when you use it. Yeah, well. Anyway. Yeah, Mets pizza. Yes, sir. <laughs> we're going to get into bed. And finish watching the rest of the maths. Hey, guys. So... We're back in the shack. Where, hey. What was the last last in the sauce? Probably our little Asda haul last night. Yeah, it was. We had the feed to chicken. That was nice. The feed to chicken parallel pizza. That was nice. It was nice. Yeah. Then um, went to sleep and then woke up to a lovely letter this morning. <laughs> Didn't I? You did. The, um, the new car that I brought. Um, when we brought it, the bloke in the shop said that. You see, check the tax for us and see how much it costs. And it was zero. Like, you didn't have to, like, tax it. And then he said, but you still have to, like, say that it's been... like yeah, you still have to apply for the road tax. Yeah. So he said, I'll just do that for you now while I'm here. And so he said, yeah, I've done that for you. And then off we drove, didn't we? Then got home, used the car for a couple of weeks. The exhaust fell off. <laughs> um, so I've got to get that put back on again. And then got a letter this morning saying that I hadn't I hadn't done my tax for my car and that it was illegal and that I've got a fine because I haven't paid my tax, which is zero. But still, I haven't I like applied for it. So whether the bloke didn't put it through for me at the shop, I don't know. Or whether he thought he'd done it right and didn't. They seemed so genuine at the time when we were buying the car, and yeah, so sure it was, yeah. hopefully it was just a genuine mistake, but. Yeah, so about to pay a forty pound fine this morning, and then put it put the tax through on the internet. Yeah, and that was at least easy to do, right? Yeah. Anyway, so, um, what are we having for tea tonight? So we're having leftover casserole, and we bought some sausages this, the other night. We think we'd add that. We're gonna braise up our cabbage and have it with some mash. Yeah, so braised cabbage mash and casserole. So hopefully I will show you the finished casserole this time. It yeah. just depends if something else terrible happens to me in the next, <laughs> the next couple of hours. Um, we went out for a little walk around Omskirt, didn't we? Oh, we did, yeah. Um, I brought a Starbucks, but the same Starbucks we brought from, what was it? Yeah, the Creme Brulee. Creme Brulee, brown sugar. But this time they kind of, I don't know if they did it wrong or if this is the way it's supposed to taste, but it tasted a lot more coffee-fied. Yeah, it didn't taste like it had the pumps of brown mm. sugar in the same. Last time it was like proper creme brulee tasting, and this time it was just like coffee with a bit of sweetness. So I'm hoping it's just that they did it wrong this time. Yeah, that if you bought the creme brulee one, that it tastes as Aaron's first one did. Yeah. So if anyone ha does try it, if they could let us know what it was like. Yeah, it would be interesting to know what your perception of it is. So yeah, so yeah, we're just gonna cook our tea now. So yeah, we'll speak in a bit. Oh, chocolate. Hey, um, I don't know why I keep saying hey every time I start clipping. I have to stop doing that. Yeah, but I just feel like right then. Right then, you lot. <laughs> right so, then, you lot. <laughs> even though we've still not had our mains, we're just having a bit of dessert wine. Well, <laughs> This was what we got from when we went to Cheshire a little while back from Hotel Chocolat. Is it six pounds a bottle? Yeah. And it is really nice. It's very easy to drink. Like the woman in the shop said it tastes like port, which it does taste like port. Maybe we should buy port more because... But I said to Ian, I went, I don't know if we've put this in the vlog yet and told people what it's like, but... It is nice. It is nice. It tastes like wine mixed with like fruit juice or something to go mm. in. It's 16.5%, so it's not like they've watered down the wine. It's, it's quite a like deep like fruity but like smooth yeah and I suppose almost chocolatey kind of 
don't know if it is chocolate. Maybe like, I don't know, like the... I don't know. But it is, it is a nice wine. Part of me thinks that we should buy a range of different alcohols. And I'm up for that. And just try them all on camera just to let you know what we think of them. What, well, do a, a live? <laughs> do a live try in them all. We'll just like try a little, like one of these little glasses of them and just... Because, yeah. Yeah. So but, it's like sherry, I know that sherry's oh, do you associated know that time, with being like an old person, ladies drink. But That time we went to, what? Where, which house of seasons was it now? Oh, it was one with all the peacocks. It was in, <laughs> it was in the Lake District. Oh, what's it called? It was like Millensee or something. Or Millen, Millen, Millen. Millen. Yeah, it was in Miller area, and you got a free sherry when you got the. Yeah, and he loved, loved the it. sherry because I think that's the first time we've had it, isn't it? I think so. I, obviously, I mainly loved it because it was free. I was going to say we don't know if you loved it because it was free. <laughs> But it's um, also we've enjoyed it when we went to Keswick Reach and we got a free Prosecco. Yeah, that's the way to Ian's heart is to get some, give him something yeah, for free. If something's <laughs> free, then I'm a new friend. He gives it the best rating yeah. ever. Um, but we're just putting the tea together now, so I'll just like, that is kind of why I, why I started like filming. But I'll just turn you guys round. Are we telling about the scale or not? Oh, you can. do. Ian was so proud of this. Yeah, He's like. Cause... He, um, even though I had that awful news about my penalty for the car tax, he went, but the, the yeah. kettle's yeah, been I descaled. Because this, <laughs> it's a multi-purpose descaler. And we picked up from home bargains, I can't remember how much it is, but yeah, it's the Kill Rock. But that's also the same mate that we used to like get rid of the mildew that was festering in the bay. And that did such a good job. It did. And... So, yeah. We haven't gone to before of the kettle, although. No, but just take our word, it was Ming. Uh, <laughs> it was Ming. Yeah. Whereas now it looks almost new. brand new. It looks so good because we. It looks so good. This kettle when it's new, but then once it's started being used for a bit, it started looking nasty. We did regret yeah. getting this kettle, didn't we? And then the uh, the toilet looks really good as well after yeah, we used we it. Yeah, because we tried scrubbing at the toilets, and you could only like get the. Stuff off, and it seems like it must have been lime scale because we put some of this in, and it's also that as it looks as new. Anyway, on so, to on to tea. So, yeah, so we've, we've some got extra sausages that we picked up reduced. They were these Edwards Welsh pork and lake. butcher pork and lake I've sausage. never heard of Edwards butcher. No, have you? If I'm honest, but they were reduced at one forty three. I thought you were probably told that last yeah, night, <laughs> but. If you like sausages, I do feel that getting them from the reduce thing is the way. Cause... Yeah, you get loads of sausages in the reduce section, like, of a night. But to be fair, we do go at, like, what, one in the morning, 12, yeah. one in the morning. Obviously, it, so this is the less... there when it's double reduced. This, this is, is the left... leftover casserole. As you can see, it's... I think Aaron was a bit upset because it was quite a dark looking casserole. Yeah, I, tell you, I, I think that's, that's probably because of the it was the beef casserole yeah. that we put and in. I think you added some Henderson relish, was it? Henderson relish? Yeah, like a Worcestershire sauce. Oh, yeah. But it, it wasn't Worcestershire sauce, I think it was called Henderson. I didn't put much in though. I know, but I think it made it dark and then. I think it was just mainly because I burnt it. Yeah, it doesn't taste, but that's the main thing. Yeah, that's the main thing. <laughs> So yeah, we just had some leftover casserole from the other day. So it's all looking a bit, um, I don't know what the word is you would use. You know for... <laughs> then, heavy. Yeah, <laughs> it's all looking a bit heavy at the moment. As we said, we weren't massively clean, keen on this whipped parmesan dip because it was like yogurt based and it just, so it it just had a funny feeling in your mouth. So I added what was left to this cabbage that I've been braising. It looks quite nice. It does it look. Nice. It does smell nice. So we'll just have to see how well that goes with the rest of this meal. But then, but then, yeah, that's that's our meal for tonight. And I haven't eaten all day, so I'm hoping that this won't be excessive. And all I've eaten today, are cr uh, today is crumpets, but they were reduced ones. They were reduced ones, but I, I just don't understand because crumpets seem to keep like forever. They don't go. Like dry or anything, so I just find I don't it. know what are crumpets made of. Don't know. If anyone knows what crumpets are made of, let us know in the comments. <laughs> I know Mama Doyle if you're watching, you know, because I'm sure she's made her own. Crumpets. Oh, I see. All right. 
So, yeah, definitely gives it a nice cheesy taste. Do you want to try a bit of your cabbage on camera? I suppose so. I guess it must be good. It's not good, but it's better than better than it was last night. I think so because it it just gives you that cheesy taste better because it's been frying or whatever. Yeah. I think it's definitely a better way of using it than mm. sticking. Eating it with a breadstick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's nice that. Yeah. So yeah, we're just going to eat this. So it is a bit of a mishmash, just making use of what we had. So we're going to go and stuff, stuff our faces. faces.